Hey, I'm Espen Croft, and this is the Digital Collection Volume 1 for the TAL Sampler. So in this sample pack you will find all my best patches, brass, bells, bass, pads, strings, keys, all taken directly from my collection of vintage hardware. Some were sampled decades ago, some were sampled just the other day, but they were all sampled by me personally taken directly from the output of the gear.
And why the TAL sampler? Well, I have no affiliation with the TAL company. I just find the TAL sampler the best bang for the buck. It sounds great, it's easy to use, it's cheap, and you have all the filter settings emulating all the different kinds of hardware samplers. So this is what you'll find in your download. You'll find a folder called Aspencraft TAL Sampler Pack. And you can store this folder anywhere you want in your computer, just remember where you put it. And then you go into the TAL sampler and set your preset location, and you just point to where you actually store that folder with my sample pack, and then click OK. And now you have access to all the patches in the pack. And so a quick look on how I've set this up. You have the samples themselves to the left in four different banks, A, B, C, and D. Where you can also see the waveform, etc. if you want to manipulate the start and end point, loop point, etc. And one of the things I like best about the TAL sampler is the different old sampler characteristics. You can dial in the S1000, the Emulator 2, etc. You have the filter settings, of course. You can set filter settings for each of the banks. You have the envelopes to uh, manipulate the um, attack release, etc. And you have the LFOs. And you have the modulation matrix down there to the, to the left. And that's very advanced and you can set it up anywhere you want, really. And I've set it up to, uh, to the pitch bend. So I manipulate the, um, the tuning to, uh, to the pitch bend wheel. And I've also set up sounds, uh, some different than others, but I've made a lot of the sounds pan left to right, especially for the mono sounds. And I use the, the modulation wheel to control the LFO speed rate uh, going into the pan. So you can sort of make a vibrato effect if you want to, or just make it uh, pan back and forth slowly with the help of the modulation wheel. And let me show you how to set that up. Just going to clear out the slots here. And just to reset the values here as well. So first I choose a slot and I'm going to use the pan effect here, uh, attached to the modulation wheel. So first I set the, the routing to the LFO1. And I click the slot, empty slot, and choose the parameter, in this case, the pan. So that pan is now connected to the LFO rate. But to control the rate and uh, make that slower or faster, I set it up uh, to the modulation wheel and click on the LFO rate knob. And I can set the values accordingly. And now I can use the modulation wheel to control the speed of the, of the LFO rate going into the pan parameter. So I can pan back and forth as slow or as fast as I want to. And this is how you use the modulation matrix.
Well, those were some of the sounds in the pack. If you're interested in buying this pack, please check out the video description for links. As always, I'm Espencroft and I am the 80s. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. <laughs>